UK gas and electricity producers could be in line for 170 billion pounds in excess profits over the next two years. Now that's according to the Treasury sum. It's something officials will be presenting to the incoming prime minister and shows the potential of expanding the windfall tax. Joining us now on this is Bloomberg's Lizzie Burden. So um, Lizzie, if anything, this Bloomberg scoop, it highlights some of the internal wrangling within the government. What do we make of it? It's a big scoop from Alex Wickham and Todd Gillespie here at Bloomberg. It heaps pressure on whoever's the next prime minister, thought to be Liz Truss, uh, to continue the windfall tax. And of course, Truss has said that she's opposed to a windfall tax because she says that it puts off investors. And Kwasi Kwarteng, the man who's tipped to be her chancellor, has also said that he's opposed to it on principle. But of course, both Truss and Rishi Sunak, her leadership rival, have said that they would give more support for households through the cost of living crisis it's not exactly clear how much. These estimates show that if the windfall tax were continued at 25%, it would generate tens of billions of pounds in revenue for the Treasury, which could be used to help people with their energy bills this winter, which of course we know are set to triple from the levels last year. And with those raising energy bills, I was looking at a Goldman report essentially saying that if we see another hike of 80% in the cap come January, inflation in the UK could hit 22%. I know there was that city report from a while back what was it last week, the week before, saying potentially 18%. Where do we stand when it comes to inflation in the UK? Well, uh, to just put a bit of history into it, RPI uh, was, at, I think it was 26% in 1975 because of the oil shock. So it's reaching that level as if uh, this Goldman forecasts anything to go by. It's based on energy bills rising to £3,500 in October. And then, of course, forecasters saying that they could go above £6,000 next year. Uh, but even if 22% is an aggressive figure, what it really shows is that the hopes of inflation peaking in October are starting to fade. Uh, Goldman has said that uh, it would trigger a 3.4% drop in GDP. It says even if energy costs do moderate, it would still be a peak of 14%. So it really underscores the scale of the crisis that awaits the next prime minister and the pain the Bank of England is going to have to inflict to bring it under control.